Yo guys, what is up, Din Snake? Today I'm going to be showing off my Valkyrie, high level Valkyrie with full maxed gear. So let's hop into this and take a look at her. Uh, I will be I will be trying to get out a Valkyrie guide. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it or when I'm going to do it or what I'm going to do. Uh, it's I want to do a really in depth one, but I don't know how much editing I need to do and all of that different stuff. Uh, Valkyrie, you know, you can see is my main. Haven't really played with much else. Um, I did a little, like, trolling with a friend with Raider, just throwing people off the edge for fun. Uh, that's all I did with that. Um, I played one Orochi match, uh, and decided, I think he's gonna be my, my, uh, Samurai main, uh, cause I have to have a main for each, cause I gotta get rep one with at least one of each category, so. Orochi's gonna be the main here. I, Nabushi was my character in the beta. But I saw Orochi's legendary gear, and I was like, "Yeah, I like that. I like that sword and blade and whatnot." So I'm gonna I'm gonna use Orochi, and it kind of fits. I like samurais, and I think um, I think he fits he fits my playstyle. And I'm Warden. I love Warden. Um, I already have the mythic gear purchased for him to get ready to fire him up. Start firing him up a little bit. Uh, I'm still gonna main Valkyrie, and I'm gonna play Valkyrie a ton, but. Warden is next on the list to get re-upped. Uh, I want to get him to re-up three. I watched uh, Oro last night get his Warden to rep three and then open up gear and that Gilgamesh stuff. Other than the hilt looks really cool. Uh, and just I just want to get my Warden up there. Uh, but let's hop into the Valkyrie, the main point of this video. Uh, she's rep three, level one. I stayed up till 4.15 last night, which is way past when I should have gone to bed because I had to get up for class today at 7, so got a whole whopping 2 hours and 45 minutes of sleep, uh, and this cost me, in order to get all the legendary, the three legendaries, the shield, and the staff, and the blade, I believe it took me 45, 50,000 steel, which is ridiculous, uh, and I got the shield, like, early on, like, 10,000 in, and I was like, okay, maybe this won't be that bad. Uh, and then it took me forever to get the staff and the blade. Um, and then I pulled them back to back in back to back scavenger scavenge or uh, premium packs. I pulled them in back to back premium packs uh, at, at the like 50,000 mark. So that was nice. But let's kind of hop into my loadouts. I'm gonna end up having two loadouts here. Um, one for um, one for like solo play and like main play and then one for kind of team play and revised and around that different stuff so i haven't quite decided on my helmet look or what stats i want on my helmet i still need to go through and try to figure this out um and I'm, I, these are the two that i'm debating between it's this one which i think looks pretty good um and this one i do like the like horns coming up but this helmet would look like better on a male character but valkyries are only female so i don't really know uh, it's what I'm rocking with now because I do like those spiked horns uh, coming out of the helmet. It's kind of messed up with the mythic with that wooden thing in the middle, but uh, it still looks pretty good. Uh, but this one, I kind of like its simplicity, and it's kind of smaller, and it looks like it fits a female character more. But uh, like I said on Twitter, four honors turned into fashion honor, like Dark Souls turns into fashion souls. Um, but... I'm, I'm undecided between those, but other than that, I'm kind of undecided on what I want. Um, uh, Stats-wise, right now I'm rocking Exhaustion Recovery and Debuff Resistance. Uh, the reason I don't want Revenge Duration High is because I have the things on to, to cycle it quickly. So what that means is I'm going to be getting Revenge repeatedly, and I mostly use Revenge now as a knockdown opposed to a all-out assault attack, like just keep swinging. And I like the Exhaustion Recovery because, as you'll see later, I didn't choose uh, Stamina Cost Reduction. So we'll get into that when we get there. But that's the helmet. For the chest, for me, there's really only one way. Speed, uh, Sprint Speed, and then Block Damage. Um, those are really the two only options, especially with Valkyrie when uh, you really need to finish kills and you need to chase people down if they try to run away. So the high Sprint Speed, I think, is crucial for Valkyrie. And then I don't execute enough people as Valkyrie because her strong attacks are some ass. They don't even do a full bar of damage, so you have to actually do a light poke and then do a strong attack to execute, and I just don't do that enough, so um, I don't really see... I don't see the point for me to personally use uh, 
uh, execution health regen. So there wasn't really an option there. And I do like this. Um, I do like this this uh, chest. Um, I like the kind of it's kind of studded in the middle around your stomach, and it's kind of got those it's kind of got those bones and stuff ornaments hanging down from her belt. So I kind of like that. Uh, was it was one of the better ones that I saw. She didn't have too many new ones for rep three, so I was kind of disappointed with that. Um, for the shoulders, I am still quite, I'm still undecided on the look, um, which one I like more. Uh, I do like the one I have now. They're kind of a little big and bulky, but I do like the look of them. Uh, I think the stats are pretty much down. Stamina regen, obviously, because I don't have the stamina cost reduction, I'm going to have, I'm going to chew through stamina a little bit quicker, so I need that quick regen. And then the black damage resistance, uh, is more important, especially if I'm solo queuing or I'm playing um, just with one friend or whatever. It's not as big of a deal to revive. Uh, if I play in a full group, I do have this revive speed here. Uh, I have revive speed kind of everywhere, like right there. That I think that, no. There it is. Wait, hold on. There it is? No. Maybe I don't have the... Cr I don't have the right... I'm going to have to open up more packs for the right... Revive speed because I just noticed I don't have the stamina regen full and then revive speed. It's really revive speed high and stamina regen medium. Uh, so I'll have to open up to get that, but just keep in mind that's what I'm that's what I'm looking for for my second loadout is the revive speed uh, that probably won't get used all that much, but it is it is an option. Uh, and then moving on to the head, here is the first legendary gear, Asker's head. Uh, and I really love these legend the legendary gear. Uh, I haven't really seen one I hated. Uh, they all look pretty sweet. Um, but this one, these took forever to pull. And these are really the only two that I'm gonna I'm gonna have the high attack because I want to deal out damage. Um, and so then it's just a choice: do I want stamina cost reduction or defense? Right now I'm doing defense because I think it's more important than stamina cost reduction. I've heard that stamina cost reduction doesn't do as big of a thing as it should, and so consequently. It's probably not the best option. Defense probably is. And that's what ties into the stamina regen and the exhaustion recovery. Because if I'm going to be running out of stamina a lot, the exhaustion recovery and stamina regen should help me get back to full stamina uh, pretty quickly uh, when I chew through it. Uh, so then we move on to the shaft. We've got the Asker shaft, which is also really cool. Uh, if you look at all the stabs for Valkyrie, they're pretty plain and they're pretty weak. So um, I don't really... Uh, that You need this... If, you, if you're going for fashion, you need this Asker Shaft when you get Rep 3 because it's the only one that looks unique and ornate and it's just really nice looking. Uh, and there's really only two ways for me to go about this. Uh, was Revenge Gain by Defense and then the either Feet Cooldown or the Revenge Mode Defense. Feet Cooldown, um, it is nice, but it also would change up the loadout too. I'll go over my feats and all of that different stuff and I'll talk about it there a little bit more. Uh, but this also factors into what game mode, Elimination, and Skirmish, where there's that pickup on the map to give you all your feats. Uh, it is nice to have a feat cooldown reduction, especially if you're being uncontested to continue to pick it up. Feat cooldown reduction can be huge. Uh, but for regular play, Revenge Mode gained by Defense and Revenge Mode Defense is my choice. So moving on to the shield, we've got the Asker Buckler, uh, and we've got two different ways. I also do really like this shield here, the Amam... Amamur or Am Amamura Buckler. Uh, I wouldn't put my stupid wing thing on there, but it, it is a cool looking shield, all in all. But I, I wish I could take the. I need to take the shield things off of this. I think because the wings kind of ruins the look of the buckler. Uh, it doesn't look horrible, but it does ruin the look a little bit. But there were two ways to go with this. Revenge gained by injury, uh, which I really do like, and then revenge mode attack compared to throw distance. And really the only reason I have the throw distance is just uh, if I'm trolling or if we play against people that literally are only going for throwing people off the edge, um, then I definitely want this so that I can counter their throws off the edge by throwing them off the edge uh, with the high throw distance. So that's the point of that. But really this is my main right here, revenge mode attack and revenge mode gained by injury. Because with Valkyrie, you don't want to really be throwing people. Uh, it makes this really easy of a choice to just have the Revenge Mode attack and Revenge Mode gain by injury. So that is the gear for the character. Still need to figure out the helmet and the shoulder pads a little bit, but other than that, pretty much set in stone. Uh, I guess I'll go over my executions. I have the Trick Shot, 
uh, which is preset, and then I have Plant Your Flag, which is not, which is the uh, one I bought in order to get the achievement for um, equipping a new execution emote and effect. So emotes, uh, I have the Feels Good Man, um, and that which is which is pre, which is like a preset one, and then I have the Skyward Spear, uh, which I liked more than nothing to see. Uh, combat, I didn't do anything new here. These are just the two preset ones. Uh, I would have unlocked Salute if it was like an actual, like if it was a Salute with her hand up to her forehead, but it's not. It's just like a side thing, and it's I don't think it's that cool, so I didn't choose it. Uh, the effects, obviously, I've got Thor Strike, so there's nothing special there. That's This is just simply the, um, the Mythic Outfit effects. Uh, I do want to try out darkness on a character. I might do it with my Orochi instead of the petals, just just for kicks and giggles. I might just put on the darkness because it's kind of cool. Um, if I do end up buying the season pass, then I'll probably do Sunbeam because I can have Sunbeam for everything between the Ubisoft Club and all of that different stuff. Uh, but let's get into feats. So this is my main setup. Uh, because I don't have the high feet cooldown, I don't want to have Rush on. Rush was my main uh, but now that I don't have, I have a really low feet recovery, Rush is no longer that, so now I choose Deadly Attacks to deal slightly more damage, uh, which, which Valkyrie really needs, so I'm fine with that. And then Bloodlust Killing Heroes grants uh, temporary attack and defense boost. I used to do Bear Trap a while ago, like rep, end of Rep 1, I did Juggernaut, but I decided that was not worth it after you killed the person, you were just slowed forever and it was just pointless. Uh, so then I went to Bear Trap, but with, obviously, the feet cooldowns, like I said, Bloodlust is my choice. And then I had to choose the two offensive ones here because I don't like, because these are all feats. Um, they're not passives. Uh, so I just decided to choose Javelin because for my, it, it's not moderate damage. It's like three-fourths of everybody's health except Shigoki's. Uh, and even with Shigoki, I think you can do like two-thirds of the health uh, if you guard break him. Uh, and so it's still pretty good against him. Uh, and then for Fury, I do like Fury, but I do like I like throwing the Javelin more. Uh, and then Sharpen Blade, it, that's really situational. And I don't like I don't like really situational feats. I've decided. Uh, and then for the final one, Scout combined with Javelin will one shot most people in the game. Um, I just choose not to do it because I really like Fire Flask for Dominion. Uh, and then Regenerate Passive, that's a pretty good passive skill. Uh, especially for skirmish and um, elimination, but for Dominion, where you can go heal yourself anyway, um, you can easily heal yourself in Dominion. Uh, it's not useful for that. Uh, and then uh, Fire Flask is the one I use because I just like throwing that fire, and uh, it really does wall off areas, or it can wreak havoc on the middle, so stuff like that. I just really like its versatility, and that's why I use it. Uh, I guess going into outfits, I am using the Mythic. Uh, I did buy the Mythic. I do like the Mythic. I wish I could have done a little bit more with it, but I do like the Mythic. Uh, and so that, I think, is pretty much the, my uh, my Valkyrie. My 108 Valkyrie, third rep. I'm definitely going to get her to fifth rep at least for the achievement, but who knows, I'll probably take her farther than that, because I really do enjoy this game. I love this game. I'm going to be playing it a ton. Uh, as soon as I finish up the campaigns for Halo Wars 2 and for Honor, I am going to try to start posting uh, live commentaries of a bunch of different game modes and just playing through that. Uh, I do a lot of playing with friends, and so I don't have a whole lot of recording time solo queuing, but we'll see how it goes, and then I'll go from there. But that is my Valkyrie 108. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any suggestions for helmet or arms while I'm undecided currently, so... Give me any suggestions if you have any, and I think that's going to do it, guys. Uh, so I'll catch you guys in my next For Honor video. Peace out. Letting go, times we might feel compelled. Looking down from the heights that we have built all by.